Okay, so why is Illustrator running so slow on your machine on maybe just some documents? So let's talk about the major things. We'll start at the top. The most probably common thing to slow you down is adding kind of pixel effects or raster effects to vector. Like this graphic here I made, okay, some compound shapes and I added a inner glow, okay, which makes this kind of like beveled uh, drop shadow kind of look. But watch this, every time I move it, okay, and I move it back, Oh, the bouncing ball of doom appears. It's like it's it struggles, right? And this is a pretty good machine. Um, so if you've added lots of drop shadows to things, uh, basically you're gonna. There's two things you can do. You can make it run faster by going. I've got nothing selected. By going to Effect and go to this Document Raster Settings, and in here mine is set to 300 ppi, which is awesome for print, but it stresses my machine out. If I switch it to 72, click OK. Nothing really changes in my document. It's not worse quality. It will print worse, okay? But now if I click off and drag it, it kind of just works faster because it's only redrawing it at a lower resolution. When I go out to print, okay, I need to make sure sending out a PDF or making a JPEG. I just got to make sure I turn this back up, okay? Because it is essentially vector and I just need to do that again. Right at the end, I'll wait for it, okay? And it goes through all of its um, features. And can take a long time, but now if I make a PDF, it will be that great quality. You haven't lost quality in that um, go. So yeah, that's kind of one of the easy ones. And um, the other one is, let's say you've got this graphic and it's just use a lot, okay, and it's just causing you drama um, every time you move it or resize it. You can just select it all, okay, and go to this one that says uh, object and go to rasterize. Now this is a one-way street, okay. If I click on rasterize and say, actually, I want this to be 300 ppi, so great quality, and uh, make sure it's the size you need it to be. I've made it quite big, okay. You might make it even bigger, so you've got a big version of it, but when it's being rasterized, it's now gonna be pixels, eventually, okay? And you'll notice that sometimes I've made a clipping mask, it's got a white box around the outside, which is not fun, I'm gonna to have to clip it out again. But I've lost a few things, okay? Transparency's gone, but at least now, if I zoom in, I can start to see the pixels, okay? So not vector anymore, but now it is super quick and easy to move around, to rotate, it's not trying to like do those effects every single time, okay? So rotating it around, um, I'll do this often. Keep a backup version of it, all victory and good, okay? But maybe in your kind of day-to-day -day use, just use the rasterized version. Another big thing can be fonts. Um, you might be, might, like me, kind of freelanced your way around the world and eventually ended up with this huge pot of fonts and you're like, you keep installing them every time you get a new Mac. The trouble with fonts is that it slows down your whole system, okay? So what you might wanna do is use Mac has Fontbook. I have no idea what PC has, um, but just uninstall the fonts you're not using, okay? Especially if there's some bad fonts. If you've got like a dodgy, cactus shaped letter font, I don't know, you know, some weird font and it's got some problems in it. Your machine spends ages when it loads um, programs trying to figure that out and sort it out. So go through and just be super clean with your font installs and any dodgy ones just get rid of or uninstall them. Yeah, fonts can be a big, they can slow down your whole entire system. Actually quickly, I'm gonna show you, so Fontbook is what um, Mac uses. Okay, so you can go through and go through and just select all the fonts you don't want and get rid of them. Okay, all fonts and just have a little look. Like do, I've got 381 and mine runs okay. Um, check, leave a comment, see how many, I wanna see who's got the most. Okay, um, I wanna see screenshots as well. Uh, yeah, don't install too many fonts. Another thing can happen or things that can slow you down is I'll make a new document is the way you bring in images. So if you bring in file and go to place and I'll bring in an image from our exercise files. Okay, I'll bring in a bike. This option here, linking or not linking. So by default, I'm pretty sure it doesn't link. Okay, you'll have to check, click on options in the bottom here. Um, it, it'll embed. Okay, so if I embed a file, Okay, versus bringing in the same image and linking to it. There's pros and cons, okay? Linking to it, the pro is that it will run faster. Everything runs faster when it's linked, okay? The con is that if I send this Illustrator file to somebody, I need to make sure I send the image with it. Okay, this one is actually bedded in there and will, if I send in the Illustrator file, it will be there, okay? This one here, it'll open up Illustrator and say, hey, I'm missing that file, where did that go? Okay, so that's one of the drawbacks. And the what you can do to fix that, let's say you've got lots of linked images like this guy. Okay, you can just go to file now and go to package. Where is package? I can never find it. It's right there, right in front of me. 
okay? Click on package. And that will, will save the document and you'll give it uh, a name and it will just gather up your Illustrator file, all the fonts that you've used and all the images. That could be a handy way of doing it. So link rather than embed. The other thing to check is up the top here, you've got this rocket ship. Okay, GPU enabled. Um, that just means you've got a good enough graphics card in your computer that it is helping out. Okay, um, you wouldn't turn this off. There's, I haven't found a reason to turn that off. Now, what you want to do though is if you've got a machine that's maybe a bit old, you might want to update your drivers. Okay, that can sometimes fix that. So if you if this is disabled, you can try and fix it um, by if I go to Illustrator preferences. Okay, and we're gonna to go to performance. And if you're on a PC, go to edit preferences, performance. Let's have a little look. So if this is unticked, okay, um, or it just says it's not available, okay, it's you can see down here I have up to date um, graphics card, okay, and it's pretty good. Okay, it's um it's good enough. I think it's it's an eight gig graphics card, four gig. Anyway, um, what you can do is it's it's not super easy, but you can then come out of Illustrator. So it's nothing to do with Illustrator really. Is you can go into your system preferences on a Mac, on a PC. I think it's Control Panel. Find your video card and just see if the drivers are up to date. And if not, go see if you can download them from the people that make it. In my case, you saw there was ATI. Okay, it might be. Nvidia, but yeah, that's that's hard to do and often doesn't fix it. It's done it for me before. Okay, I've updated my graphics card and it's kind of gone, oh, okay, we can use GPU and it just runs faster. The other thing you can do, and it's simple enough, it's updating the RAM in your computer. So RAM is king, okay, um, you want a minimum of eight gigs of RAM and as much as you can get. Um, the cool thing about RAM is often um, on PCs, it's really easy to upgrade. Okay, it won't cost you very much. You can go from four gigs to eight gigs or 16 or 32 pretty cheaply. And that kind of gives your computer a, the kind of grunt you need for, especially like those drop shadows in Illustrator. Okay, so RAM upgrade. Um, I'm kind of a half tinker and I can do it myself. Not very good, but it was RAM in a PC is easy enough. Yeah. I'm, unscrew it and pick it out and put the other one in. On a Mac, it's near impossible. You can take it to people to get it done, but RAM is the thing when you're buying a computer, get lots of it. Another thing that can really cause problems is your hard drive. Okay, so um, if you've got, a, say, say you've got a I don't know, 500 megabyte hard drive and it's got zero or two gigabytes left, okay? I said megabyte. So you've got 500 gigabytes of space and you've only got a couple of gigabytes left, okay? That is just not enough. It needs like things like Photoshop and Illustrator, they need about half your hard drive empty, okay? It needs a big chunk of space to work. Um, and let's say that you don't have that, okay? What you can do is you can use an external drive. You can go to Illustrator, preferences. We're getting pretty nerdy here. This is the last one. If your nerd alert is uh, buzzing, you can skip on to the next video. I, I catch myself sometimes, we're getting nerdy. Okay, but if you are a nerd like me, Illustrator CC, preferences, plugins and scratch disks. Remember, it's under edit preferences if you're on a PC. And here, my scratch disk is just my startup drive. Okay, what you can do is if you go out and buy, say your computer's a bit old and your hard drive is the old tape drive one and it's just full up, what you can do is you can say, Illustrator, I want you to use my external drive. And what will happen is um, if I had an external drive plugged in here, it would show in this list and I can click on it. Okay, the pros for it is, is that if I get a really good hard drive, what you're looking for is an SSD drive, a solid state drive, okay, and get as big as you can afford. Um, and uh, it, often those connections are really fast and it will speed up Illustrator. The, tra the drawback is, and it's, it's a big one, is you need to carry that hard drive around all the time. Otherwise, you know, when you're using Illustrator, it's not gonna find it, it will snap back to using primary. Okay, so is that a fix? Yeah, kinda is. I, do, I used to do a lot with my old PC laptop. It was really old, I couldn't afford to upgrade it. I bought a hard drive and changed, you know, changed the scratch disk on every Adobe application and it ran, ran like twice as fast, it was awesome. Um, yeah, that is it. If you've got any questions, drop me a comment. That is how to speed up Illustrator. Yeah, if none of those things help, might be time to buy a new computer. All right, on to the next video.